row at the ceremony. A boat's been sighted. It's coming up the river and will be here at noon. Tell your father, Roo. I'm sure he would like to be at the harbour to receive his brother. And we to receive our cousin, Dummy added. We will have our morning meal before you go. Her mother said firmly, Bring out the dishes of fruit and the barley broth, Dummy, and please have your bath before you come to eat. When the family sat down for their morning meal, Ru suddenly remembered something. Father, the head priest said I was to assist at the ceremony this afternoon. How will I meet her if I am at the great bath? Well, you will have to meet him later then. You know it is a great honour to participate in the water ritual. Ru trailed sadly to the bathing place and bathed and changed in preparation for the ceremony. Entering the great bath, Ru made his way to the residence of the head priest. So, Ru, are you ready? But your mind is clearly somewhere else. The old man said, adjusting his shawl. He smiled gravely. Is there news of the boat from Ur? It has been sighted, head priest. Ah, it seems to me that your mind will not be on the ceremony today, Ru. You will attend the ritual on the next full moon. You may go now. As soon as the head priest turned away, he ran all the way to the harbour. Panting and breathless, he arrived as the boat was docking. Greetings, Har! He shouted to a boy who stood looking eagerly across the rail. Oh, it was going to be a memorable day. 